Hey guys, I am Bianca here at Plaid. Welcome back to another live craft break. Today we will be doing a really fun eco-friendly project in time for Earth Day. So I'll go ahead and tell you all the supplies that you will need for this project and then we'll go ahead and we will jump into it. So this is actually the project that we will be making today before I actually get to the supplies. So we will be turning this old lotion bottle into a beautiful vase using our new paint which is the sugar metallic line and we'll also go through all of the new colors and some pretty cool fun facts about it so that you guys can get to know that paint a little better um, but we'll go ahead and we'll get into the supplies so for this project you will need an empty plastic so here I have a lotion bottle but you can use any type of plastic bottle for this you can actually even use glass but I wanted to do an upcycle so I went ahead and I went with this plastic bottle you're also going to need some crafting foam and I'll talk a little bit more about this once we get to this step. You're also going to need a little bit of water. You're going to need some paint brushes, scissors, some type of rolling pin or something that will smooth out your foam and you're also going to need your sugar metallic paint and today I will be using the pink copper color. So we will go ahead and we will get into the project. And the first step is to grab your phone and we're gonna go ahead and roll it out. I've already kind of rolled it out of the ball that it was in. And now I'm gonna use this thick dowel stick. If you have a rolling pin at home, you can use that. But I'm gonna use this dowel stick and I'm just gonna kind of smooth my foam out just a little bit. It won't be perfect, but we do wanna get it as smooth as possible. So I'm just going over it and to help you kind of measure out how much foam you need, you can lay your bottle on top of it as you begin to roll it out. You can even kind of wrap it around to see how far out you actually need to roll it. And if you have a little bit of excess, that is totally fine. I'll show you how you can trim it up and cut it. So you can see that we have a little bit extra. So. We'll get to that step where we get rid of that. But for now, you do just wanna smooth out your phone, press it, get it nice and flat. So we have enough to wrap around the bottle that we'll be using. And so, let's flip it over a little bit. And if your phone is a little stiff, you can actually use some of that water that I was talking about earlier. You can dip your fingers in it and can use it to kind of smooth out your foam a little bit. Makes it a little bit easier to mold and to play with. So I'm just putting a little bit all around it. Get it nice and smooth and then we are going to wrap this around our plastic bottle. Uh, Bianca, I love this foam stuff, like craft foam. Yeah. It's really fun to play with, and it's I always like to just make little figures and models with it, but this is cool that there's like a an actual upcycling use for it that you can incorporate into a project. Yeah, I feel like this is slime for adults. Yeah. <laughs> it's slime with a purpose. Slime with a purpose. It also feels like a stress ball. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have our foam nice and smooth. I'm going to grab my plastic bottle and I'm going to lay it directly on top of the rolled out foam and I'm gonna wrap this around the bottle. And you should be able to pick up this type of foam at any craft store. They might even have it at a dollar store. But this is the type of foam that you do not have to bake. You can actually just let this air dry and it'll get hard and I believe less than 24 hours. So I'm going to continue to wrap this around and I'm using my fingers to kind of melt these two ends together. I want it to look like one piece instead of two. So I'm just using my fingers to lightly tap and bring those two seams together. Now I'm gonna grab my scissors and I'm gonna cut off the excess foam around the bottom. And then I'm also going to go around 
the neck of our lotion bottle. So I'm just squeezing, squeezing around the neck here. And then I'm grabbing the scissors again, and we're just gonna cut across. Super, super easy. All right, so we're just gonna continue to use our hands to mold the foam to the lotion bottle. And don't worry about getting it perfect. I think that's one of the fun things about this project is the fact that it's not perfect. So don't worry about getting it too, too perfect. Just make sure that your bottle is fully covered and that you have all of the excess cut off. So I'm gonna actually fold this over into the bottle just a little bit. All right. So now I'm gonna take a little bit more water and I'm gonna use my hands to smooth it out again. It's actually already kind of looking like a terracotta, terracotta vase or a pot. So it looks a little bit like stone. So we're gonna do the back, smooth that out. And then we're gonna use our fingers to create a design with the foam. All right. And I'll show you guys the bottom. You do want to make sure that you're covering the bottom as well. Bianca, I wanted to talk a little bit about Sugar Metallics. Yeah, of course. Um, Sugar Metallics is in our folk art line, and it's a new paint that we've come up with that is sort of like terracotta, and it's sort of like our treasure gold. If they combine, you might have Sugar Metallics. It's uh, definitely a much more coarse, like sort of, feelable texture than the terracotta it's a, a lot less subtle and there's also some sort of like glitter element to it and when we yeah. see the finished product we'll look at that too yeah um, it comes in 18 colors it uh they're all meant to go together so if you pick any like two or three colors out of those 18 they're going to work together in a in a little vignette if you can, like paint a couple of bases or pieces of foam decor you don't have to worry about matching them or anything um so we're really excited about Sugar Metallics here. And one thing I love about Sugar Metallics so far is that you don't have to necessarily worry about getting the brush strokes perfect because of the texture. I feel like it hides all of the imperfections, if there are any. So I feel like it's a very easy paint to work with. All right, so I have all of the foam smoothed out. And now I'm going to use my thumb to go through and create some dents. And I'll bring over our finished project just so you guys can see where I'm headed. So you guys can see the dents all throughout the foam here. So that's what we're getting ready to do. And we're just gonna use our thumbs to do that. It's really easy. So I'll start from the bottom and I'll just press inwards. You can even use your index finger if you have a super small bottle and you don't wanna create big dents. So I'm just gonna go through and create these dents with my fingers. Again, you don't wanna to have to worry about getting it perfect. Just make sure that the dents are visible and have enough, enough depth so that once we do paint over it, you'll still be able to see them. So I'm just pressing down. We're gonna flip it over on its side and then we'll do the other side together and then you're just gonna repeat the same thing on the back of the bottle. And I do have one that has set overnight already and dried. So I'll go ahead and I'll pull that one out in just a second. So I would say get creative with this part of the project. You definitely don't have to do the circles like I'm doing. Maybe you wanna do some zigzags. Maybe you wanna get like a stencil and maybe put um, some type of animal or a letter on the front of your bottle. But I chose to go with these dents. I kind of wanted to go with the boho feel. So we're going to flip this over on its side. And we're going to do the same thing. All right. Let me know if you guys have any questions as we go along. 
And also, I feel like it's been a minute since we've been on here. If we have anybody that's watching for the first time, or if you want to share where you're watching from, we would love to hear where you guys are at. All right, so we have all of the dents on this bottle. Like I said, you want to repeat this step on the back of the bottle as well. I have already gone ahead and done that with this one. So we'll go ahead and we'll set this one off to the side and let it dry. So once your bottle has totally dried, this is what it should look like. You can see it's a lot harder. It's not as mushy as it was a second ago. So I let this sit overnight. And again, like I said, this is not the type of foam that you have to bake, but you can definitely use that as well if you already have that at home. So now we are going to go ahead and we're gonna paint our bottle with the sugar metallic. So, like I said earlier, I am using the pink copper color, but before we get into this, I do kinda wanna just go through a few of our colors really quickly. So, one of the lighter colors is the polar ice. This is a beautiful white color. It's almost like a pearl a little bit. I'll hold it up so that you guys can see it a little bit better. And then, let's move over to one of our darker colors. So we have the golden light here, and I'm gonna hold this one up next to the golden hour. So these are both in the gold family, but as you can see, one is a little bit darker than the other one. So I think these would be really beautiful on a project like this. And again, that's golden light, and this is golden hour. And I'll show you guys a few more so we're gonna go a little bit darker here. So now we're getting more into the browns and the grays. So this is the Evergold color. This is a little bit darker of a gold, almost like a brown gold. And then we have the Space Gray. And then we'll go two shades darker and then we'll go ahead and we'll start painting our project. So let's pull out the meteorite and the black comet. So these are two dark colors, but you can kind of see the shade differences here. And I believe I have some projects behind me that are painted with this. I'll pull those out towards the end of this so that you guys can see what those look like once they are dried. So those are just a few of the colors from this paint line. If you guys want me to pull any of them out, Again, just let me know. Like I said, I'm getting ready to use the pink copper. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put a little bit of this right here. And we will start painting. So I just have a regular paintbrush here and we're gonna go over our foam with it. And like Stephen was saying earlier, you can see the texture in this paint. So I'll hold it up a little so you guys can see that. You can also see the shine in the paint as well. So you're just gonna paint your bottle. And you'll probably need about two to three coats for this. This paint dries pretty quickly, but you can definitely use can definitely use a blow dryer in between if you kind of want to get through your project a little bit quickly. And using a blow dryer would help your foam dry quicker, quickly that's, too. That's a great tip, Stephen. Yes, you can definitely use a blow dryer to help your foam dry a little bit quicker. Uh oh, well our paintbrush decided <laughs> to break. That's okay. <laughs> That's why we have some extras right here. Yeah, that's here. a good thing we have plenty more. It happens. All right. So I'm actually going to switch over to a foam brush, which actually worked out because I did want to tell you guys that you can actually use a foam brush as well with this project. And if you are going to use a foam brush, I would suggest kind of going through and tapping with it instead of actually dragging it down like I was with the paint brush that we were just using. So just lightly tap. You want to cover your bottle. And then like I said, you want to let this dry. You can use a blow dryer. And then you'll go back in with the second coat if needed. 
You can definitely use a third coat. So we'll flip this over a little bit and we'll get the sides here. Okay. So yeah, this is just a really cool project. I thought that this was very eco-friendly. Um, Earth Day is coming up and I very much so like to upcycle when I'm crafting. If you wa have watched any of my other lives here, I think you guys know that by now I'm always upcycling something. So this is just a real, really fun project in observation of Earth Day. And it's a way for you to save your money. You know, you pay for the lotion, mm -hmm. <laughs> you pay for the bottle as well. It's just a fun way to get the most out of your purchase. We'll finish this first coat together here, and then I will pull out our final project, our finalized project, so that you guys can see what it looks like once it is totally dry. And again, if you guys have any questions about this new paint line, let us know so that we can answer them. And there is a sale going on. If you guys go onto Plaid, Plaid's website, you can use promo code color love and that has a capital C and a capital L and that gives you a 20% off discount at checkout. So yeah, you can that try sale all of goes the um, through Saturday, this oh, okay. Saturday. Perfect. So act quickly. Yeah. Get your sale. If you guys want to try this out, you know, for the first time, I think now is definitely the time to do that. Grab a few while you guys can, while they're on sale. All right, so we have just a little bit more to go here. And if you weren't here earlier, I said that you could definitely use plastic for this project, but if you have an old glass face that you kind of want to give new life, you can definitely use glass as well for this project. Yeah, we've used sugar metallic on glass, on wood, yep. um, on plastic with foam, yep. um, all sorts of stuff, mm -hmm. ceramic. And I love that it looks the same no matter what type of surface you're using. Mm -hmm. It always comes out shiny with the beautiful metallic. All right, so. We have our bottle fully covered. This is just one coat. I'll flip it around so that you guys can see it. This again is the pink copper. And I'll hold it up so you guys can see it a little better. So after a second or coat, third coat, this will look absolutely beautiful. I think that this color, in my opinion, looks very expensive. So if you're somebody like me that likes high-end things, then I would suggest picking up this color if you do go onto the site to pick up these paints during our sale. Yeah, we have a, a color called Prosecco in Ooh. this line that I really like. Uh, there's also one, something I think it's Teal Abyss. Ooh, that one's really beautiful. cool. All right, so you're gonna let your bottle dry after you've painted it. And once you finish, it should look something like this. So I will hold this up so that you guys can see it. You guys can see the texture of the paint. You can see the beautiful shine. You can see the dents that we created with our fingers. You can also see the texture in the paint as well. So this is our project. And before we go, I do kind of just want to show you guys a little bit of the other vases and projects that are around me so that you can get an idea of what the other paints look like. So this is today's project. Let's set this off to the side. So here is a glass vase that has been painted. So this is one of the lighter colors. I believe this one is the polar ice. So this is what the polar ice color looks like once it has been painted and dry. So this is very beautiful. 
I personally would have never guessed that this was glass just by looking at it. So I think it does a very good job at disguising whatever type of surface that you choose to paint it with. All right. And then I'll show you guys one of the darker colors. So this is another vase that has been painted. So this is glass as well. And I do believe that this is the moon dust color. So I'll hold that up so you guys can see it. Yeah, and you can even hear it too. Yeah, you can definitely hear that texture. And you know what I also really like about it? Even when you're touching it and holding it, it doesn't like flake off. So none of the texture really falls off. And then let's see, do we have anything else by me? Let's pull out this one. This is actually a great one to show because this is the color that we just used, which is again, the pink copper. So once that bottle that we just painted totally dries, it will look like this once it is finished. So I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what the other colors look like. I think this one might be my favorite. I was going to say, that one looks like <laughs> you. That's like your projects <laughs> that you make. They're always kind of this, yep. this color scheme. This probably is definitely my favorite color here. So that is our project for today again guys you want to make sure that you head to plaidonline.com so that you can pick up your sugar metallic colors while they are on sale again the code is color love and that is a capital c with a capital l and again that gives you 20 percent off at checkout and you have only until saturday so make sure you guys go and grab your paints and that is today's project if you guys do not have any more questions we will get out of here and we will see you guys